so reform militancy is something that comes up when you consider J. Gresson Machen uh, because he was known to be a fighter and he, he defended it and, and militancy for, for, um, for, for noble, worthwhile causes, most people would agree is, is worthwhile. The question becomes whether Machen overdid it, whether Presbyterians have overdone it. Um, but for reform militancy is contending for the faith, quite simply. What I think sometimes people forget or miss about Machen is that being a professor at Princeton, he was part of an institution that had a long history of polemical theology. I th even think there were appointments in the 19th century that included title of systematic and polemical theology or something like that. And if you go back and read the Princeton Theological Review and before that the Biblical Repertory and Princeton Review, etc., you see article after article written by Princeton faculty, other Presbyterian leaders, critical of developments in the church, transcendentalism, uh, uh, abolitionism, developments in Scotland. I mean, they were writing about everything, and they were oftentimes critical of it. So it wasn't at all unusual for Machen to do this from his position at Princeton. There was a long history of it, but the church, you could argue, or American society, you could argue, had become softer by then, and there were efforts to try to make everybody get along and harmonize. And so when you have someone come along who's a who's a fighter, that doesn't fit so much. So, so reform mill, I, 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 but I would argue that I mean, Calvin, Knox, um, going back through Presbyterian history, back to Europe and, 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 and the British Isles, Presbyterians have always been fighters. They've been sons of a gun. Uh, so, you know, all of a sudden, now they're supposed to be nice? Where does that come from?